Hey guys, it's Alex from Keys the Cucina. Tonight I'm going to teach you how to make crispy skinned salmon in a cast iron skillet. The first time I had crispy skinned salmon was back in January. My family and I, we went to Charlottesville, Virginia, and we went to this brewery that homemade everything, farm fresh ingredients. They served us crispy skinned salmon with guanciale, which is pig cheek, basically bacon and salmon, and the skin was so crispy, it felt like I was eating fried chicken. So for this recipe, all you need is a cast iron skillet, a couple fillets of salmon, salt, pepper, and olive oil. Stay tuned for the steps. All right, so I got my two salmon fillets. I sprinkled the skin side with a pinch of kosher salt and black pepper. I also have the cast iron skillet heating up. It looks like it's smoking a bit. So I have it on medium high um, just to heat up so that when we put the salmon in, it will start to sear immediately and get that nice crispy skin that we want. So we'll go ahead and carefully lay the fish in. That's the sound we want. Perfect. So those are going to cook for about three minutes, and then you'll go ahead and turn over the fish and cook for another one to two minutes, depending on how crispy you like your salmon. All right, we hear it sizzling away. It is time to flip. I'll get that overhead camera so you can you know, get that awesome aerial shot. But for now, we'll have to just uh, wait till the pictures at the end of the recipe. So go ahead and cook this for about one to two minutes, like I said, till it's done to your preferred um, doneness. And then we'll go ahead and plate it. All right, so now that my 600 square foot apartment smells like fish and is full of smoke, I think dinner is ready. So as you can see, the salmon is nice and golden brown, and that's exactly what we want to see. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this with asparagus tonight, but you could obviously pair it with your favorite fish accompaniment from rice to risotto to another vegetable of your choice. I love this recipe because it goes to show that all you need is a couple simple ingredients on hand and some nice fish to make a really outstanding, delicious meal. Be sure to check back on Keys the Cucina for more approachable, healthy, and easy recipes. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.